In 2019, baseball had the whole yelly belly phenom, two lefty hitting outfielders with similar sounding nicknames who were also having incredible years. They ended up as the top two finalists for the National League MVP award, one that Bellinger won. And he was on top of the freaking world. Now, from the moment Bellinger entered the big leagues with the Dodgers, he had been expected to at least be pretty good. I mean, he won the 2007 Little League World Series. That's really all you need to know if you were questioning his abilities. And he was awesome, winning Rookie of the Year 10 years after that Little League run and helping send the Dodgers on a deep World Series run. Same with 2018, where Bellinger also played every game that season. And 2019 seemed like a fitting chapter in this man's career, solidifying himself as one of the game's top players but baseball being the blessing and curse that it is has no issue chewing you up and spinning you out no matter who you are and since winning that mvp award in 2019 bellinger has been exactly a league average hitter which is where we get to the current issue over the north side of chicago the cubs have for a while now just been there like existing they don't suck but they're also not really good they just play baseball I, I guess it could be a lot worse obviously and they don't have to go far at all to find the literal worst team in baseball history but it's still not great they stole longtime Brewers manager Craig Council to be their manager only for the Cubs to finish with the same exact record as the year before while the Brewers not only won their division again but have their new manager Pat Murphy win manager of the year so yeah the Cubs look like a bunch of idiots last year and also because of who they signed before the season bringing back Cody Bellinger, who the Dodgers have and continue to go just fine without. Meanwhile, the Cubs are quickly regretting their decision to keep him. They signed into a one-year deal for 2023, which worked out well because Bellinger went on to have his best season since 2019, but there were also a lot of underlying red flags, mainly the fact he wasn't hitting the ball very hard. So he may have had a good year, but it was not at all like his 2017 to 2019 days and definitely not sustainable. Scott Boris went on to ask for $250 million that offseason. Everyone laughed in his face and Bellinger had to settle for another short term deal, but not a crazy cheap one for the Cubs. It's for three years, $80 million, so about $26.5 million a year for those three years. Year one is done and the Cubs already want the entire thing to be over. As mostly expected, Bellinger was not as good in 2024 as he was in 2023. His batting average dropped over 40 points, his on-base percentage dropped over 30 points, his slugging percentage dropped about 100 points, everything was down. And reportedly, the Cubs were hoping and for some reason expecting Bellinger would opt out of the contract after the season, which I don't understand. Mostly every part of his stats went down. He was not at all worth what he made. Why would he go back out on the free market where he obviously wouldn't get what he'll get if he opts back in? So I don't know why the Cubs would think he'd opt out, but apparently the moment he opted in, they've been trying to trade him desperately they're treating bellinger like a pitbull out the humane society according to mlb reporter bob nightingale the worst kept secret at the general manager's meetings a few weeks ago was the cubs offering bellinger to anyone and everyone and up until this point no team has expressed strong interest with nightingale even quoting an anonymous general manager who said come on who's going to touch that contract the risk is just too great for the production well let's be nice yeah. let's be nice we don't have to go there <laughs> i mean you're not wrong but you didn't have to say it i mean good lord if the cubs are somehow able to move bellinger they would probably have to eat money in the deal or get another similar contract so forget any talented young prospects coming back to chicago this is just solely a get bellinger and his contract the hell out of here type deal none of this can be exciting to hear if you're a cubs fan because overall the general goal for them seems to be the lower payroll rather than get any big name free agents or improve in really any drastic way despite being the fourth most valued team in baseball worth over 4.2 billion dollars according to forbes the cubs want to get money off the books and go under the luxury tax they're not interested in the big guns like soto or the pitchers on the market it makes sense for the cubs to hate this contract but they can't really blame anyone but themselves even though it's not even that crazy of a deal because it was just for three years, but that's still two years and over $50 million left on the books that they want to get rid of. And like that anonymous GM said, 
who in God's name would take that on? There's nothing lately that's shown any promise or potential of Bellinger being more than just an above average, pretty solid bat, which of course would be good for most players. Any team would take a player like that, except, you know, when you're making over 26 million a year. Why would anyone take that on over a much cheaper option who can be just as good, if not better? Obviously, trading Cody Bellinger isn't the one key to success for the Cubs, and it's not the total end of the world if they can't trade him. They also have a really highly ranked farm system, so the future isn't crazy bleak for the Cubs, but there's still no path to getting back to winning. It's crazy that the Cubs haven't made the playoffs in a full season since 2018 where they went one and done against the Rockies in the wildcard game. It's been a long time. And having Cody Bellinger's contract on the payroll isn't necessarily the best recipe for success. But it isn't for any other team either, so it's not going to be easy trading him, which they so desperately want to do. Let me know your thoughts and thank you for watching.